friends welcome to free cat part modeling tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to model a compression spring as you can see that i have already modeled a simple compression spring based on this 2d drawing it is a basic details about that compression spring so using these details i have modeled it and i will show you from the scratch how you can do the same in a free cat so let's start so I will close this file and I will show you from the scratch so I will create a new file so before starting to the tutorial if you like my method of teaching then please like subscribe and share my video and I have also coffee donations page its link is given in a video descriptions your kind support will help these channels to grow so as we can see the spring details its a uh, free length is a uh, 18 its a uh, coil diameter is a uh, 0.9 and it is a uh, 7 ton and outside diameter is a uh, 8.1 and inside diameter is a uh, 6.3 so we will do it in the part design workbench so first i will create a body and you can also select this part but this part work as a container only so here I will press my space bar and I will on my plane so I will select this exit plane and I will create the sketch and I will go to the model and I will off this origin plane I will select the circle and on this axis I will draw my circle and here in our 2D details of a spring the diameter is 0.9 I will give diameter 0.9 and uh, spring OD is a 8.1 and 6.3 so so from center it would be I give a horizontal dimension here so 6.3 we can calculate it so diameter is a 6.3 6.3 divided by 2 3.15 and uh, spring diameter is a 0.9 0 0.9 divided by 2 so 0 0.45 plus 3.15 plus 3.15 so it is 3.6 so I will give 3.6 okay so here our sketch is constrained now I will go to the task and I will close my sketch and here I will press zoom to fit now here I will click on additive helix features so you can see that it automatically took some default value but here we will change this value with respect to our data of a spring so total height of the spring is 18 mm so I will go here and type my 18 mm and I will say front view pitch is not given so I will take some approximate pitch here 2 mm ok and I will say ok and I will say isometric view so here we have modeled this spring based on this data of the spring and you can see that how beautifully freak had done this job so if you want to change any values just go to the edit helix you can increase the length of the spring or you can the change the pitch you can change the cone angle and you can also reverse is to the left hand side or right hand side 
you can also reverse the direction of a spring from top to the bottom but I keep it as a default and I will say ok so this is the very small tutorial how to model a compression spring in a free cat and if you like this tutorial then please like my video and subscribe my channels and share my video and never forget to visit the coffee donation link given in a video descriptions your kind support will help this channels to grow thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time